Hey, welcome to Kevin's Wild Wacky Weird World. Today I'm going to be re reviewing the ICOM 7100. More initial impressions of it than a full review, by the way. Uh, yeah, the price tag, way higher than I wanted to pay. But any other radio that can do what this one can, <laughs> they cost even more. If it had not been for the discounts and mail-in offers, I would not have purchased it. I would be driving a scooter around instead. I am happy that I chose to order it from Ham Radio Outlet. Not a sponsor, but if they want to, I'm not opposed. Uh, when I contacted them via email, they answered my questions quickly and uh, precisely. I ordered it on a Friday. I got it the very next day on a Saturday. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. <laughs> and yes, that FedEx truck looked like the Santa Express truck. It had my ICOM 7100 and my AH4 tuner that went with it. Um, I'm getting, I'm really actually enjoying getting to know this radio. It's nice to have everything in one spot. It does 70 centimeter, 2 meter, 6 meter, all the way down to 160 meter, FM, AM, single sideband, and sub modes in between. Yes, it is the virtual can opener radio eyes. Um, the touchscreen is taking me a little getting uh, to get used to, which many of the features are easier in the long run to access via that touchscreen. I don't think I'd like the touchscreen for mobile use, though. That being said, mostly all the functions that you'd normally do in mobile are done via regular, normal interface knobs and buttons. Um, the screen is very easy to read in my sham shanty. I have not tried to read it mobile nor in the sun. I am pleasantly surprised the SWR meter built-in works, uh, making it a tool that helps you keep from blowing up the radio. As many of you know, bad coax happens, weathered coax happens, antennas fail because of loose connections here and there. If you keep an eye on the SWR meter, it will help you from ruining your system, your, your radio. Um, the incoming audio volume is good. The tone is better than my Kenwood, and my Kenwood commercial has been the best radio I've had so far for sound quality and whatnot. Um, and 07Y, audio test via ham radio. This is an 07 one Even with the built-in speaker uh, that Kenwood I use an external speaker with, the built-in speaker on the control pad is actually better. Um, my Kenwood, by the way, blew my B-Tech radios and other radios out of the, the water audio quality-wise, and my ICOM does it better. Um, no one has complained about my audio quality on transmission. I it, The radio came with the basic mic. It has the up-down controls, and that's it. Um, you can purchase other optional mics with keypads, controls, etc. The, the, the receive sensitivity of this radio is very adjustable, and it does have a preamp that you can choose a couple different... Uh, power ratios to amplify. Um, it has noise reduction surf, uh, circuits built in. Digital sound processing it makes a night and day difference of quality of incoming signal. Uh, the filters make it so uh, you could hear an actual signal rather than just have a garbled transmission. Um, the radio is a D-Star compatible radio, meaning it has a digital audio feature built in. The digital audio is slightly different than analog audio. It's, it's taken me a little to get used to it. I do have other digital radios, but they are DMR and they're handhelds. Um, it's a competing feature uh, service, much like the Beta and Via, uh, VHS, where um, now there's a third reel. <laughs> there's more than two digital voice formats out there. There's also Yaesu System Fusion, there's Open System, 
Now, don't even get me started with System Fusion. Well, unless you want to get me started in Sender Radio. <laughs> I know that's not going to happen, but I can dream. I wouldn't mind having a Fusion Radio to go with my set up here. Um, yeah, and I honestly don't think there will ever be a winner on digital voice formats. There's always going to be different formats out there. It's part of the experimentation nature of ham radio. Now, this radio does come with a USB interface. You plug a cable that comes with it right into your computer, which allows for digital audio modes, packet, RDOP, win more, that basically allows you to send messages via your computer, email even, uh, via HF, VHF radio. Meaning, if regular communications go down, you can still send and receive emails. Now, to get that all set up, took some doing. You have to use CAT, com computer-aided um, uh, transceiver, to key up the radio. It doesn't have a, it has a Vox service circuit, but you can't use that Vox circuit with the USB cable, which helps ensure no accidental transmission of audio when hooked up to the computer. It also makes setting up for digital data modes via sound card a little trickier. I use Linux as an OS on my computer, so I end up having to compile various different programs to make it work. Definitely not plug and play. That being said, I have it working. I've never tried it with Windows so far, so not sure there. Um, if you have any questions or things that you want me to check on this radio, please feel feel to write them in the comment section down below. Again, I'm glad that I made the decision to purchase it. It's a really great tool for daily communications, and it should be, perform well in, during emergencies as well. Um, you know what to do. Click that like button, subscribe button, and have a great day. From Kevin's Wild Wacky World.